Welcome to TechRazor Dame. In this video, we are going to learn how to load multiple CSV files to Azure SQL database table with file names in Dataflow Activity in Azure Data Factory. So think about that uh, we have multiple CSV files uh, sitting in uh, one of the blob storage. And uh, here is my blob storage. I have container called input, and then I have these files. Um, so CSV files, uh, each file start with the um, total sale underscore Asia, total sale underscore Europe, total sale underscore North America. Let me open a, one of them and show you the data. Here uh, we have ID, sale person first name, sale person last name, uh, product name, item sold, item price, sold date, city, state, country, region. So the same columns uh, I have in all these files. Um, so these files are the same files uh, when it comes to the number of columns, and uh, but they have different data. So you, this is a very common scenario where you get these type of files every day, and then you have to load to the SQL table. Um, and uh, what we are going to do here, we are going to use a data flow. So this is our starting experimenting how to load the multiple files. So you, once you are in the Azure Data Factory, you are going to, in the author tab. Here you will be going to the data flows. And come right in front of the data flows here, three dots, and say new data flow. And uh, you're going to name this one, and uh, I'm going to call them CSV multiple files. Okay, so I remember that to what I did in this uh, data flow. Now you are going to add the source here. Click right there and add source. And uh, we are going to go to the data set here and we are creating a new data set. Uh, now we go to blob storage here and then uh, we are going to hit to continue and CSV file. That's what we are using. And then uh, we are going to make a linked service. So click a new and then uh, we will go select our subscription here, select our storage name, tech storage. And then we should be all good. Um, this is called Azure Blob Storage 6. So that's what our linked service name is. Uh, I suggest you give some proper name, but in my case, I'm going to go with the Storage 6. Uh, now, here you are going to tell a file path. Um, now we go right there, go to the input, and here we have uh, three files. Um, let's select one file so at least we can provide uh, the basic uh, information and then we can delete that. Um, yes, sir. Uh, First row has header in each of the file and import schema is left to none here. Now we are all good here. We can preview the data if we want. Go ahead and uh, right there, take a look. So it's going to extract uh, the data from one of the files we just uh, choose. Uh, Finally, it is extracting the data and showing us so uh, there are like four records here and you can see the data is right there. So all good. Uh, now what we are going to go, we are going to go to source settings and uh, we don't have to do anything here. Let's click on the source options here and the column to the store file name. We are going to create a new column called the file name. So this column will save the file name that it is going to load. Now we can go to the projections here and here we can import the projection and it is going to get us the schema from that file. So that's going to be helpful. Uh, we will just see that and then we'll experiment later how to make some changes there. Finally, we are able to import the data here, schema here, and you can see that uh, we have ID, that's a short, so it's a, a one, two, three numbers, that's a, this is string, 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 and we have then a sold data, data. So we leave as it is everything, and uh, now we can go back to the add sync. Um, we are gonna go to sync here and click on sync, and uh, then uh, in the sync, uh, we have a table. So let me show you, I'm connected to my uh, Azure SQL DB and the database name is TechRes IT DB. Now I have the table uh, called the total sale. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the table and then uh, recreate the table in front of you. So I'm creating total sale table with ID integer not null, then sale person first name, worker 100, sale person last name, and then product and uh, item sold and the uh, price sold in the floor, date, uh, sold date into data and uh, then we have city state and country and all that so mostly our uh, um, worker columns and uh, then we have a file name that's also worker 100 that's going to save our file name now this uh, table we are going to create and then use uh, in our destination so let's go back here and here we are going to create a data set uh, that will be pointing to the azure sql db and uh, here is the Azure SQL uh, database right there. So select that. And now it is uh, asking you create a link service. Yes, new link service. And provide so your subscription and provide your server name. Provide your database name, TechBrothers IT DB, and then username and password. So TB user and then uh, password. Let's test the connection. 
and all successful all good now this is called sql server uh, database to that's the link service name so it is asking you you want to create a new table or you want to use existing we already have created a table so i'm going to use existing called the total sale now this should be all good and the import schema we here can hit the none and hit ok now we should be good to go and uh, we need to create our pipeline and in the pipeline we will be calling this a data flow so this pipeline you can give any name maybe pipeline one is fine and just drag this uh, data uh, flow here once you bring it here you can go ahead and uh, hit a debug as of now if i will uh, run this uh, data flow what's going to happen uh, if you guys remember that this data flow is pointing to the uh, right here and if I go test and uh, right open and this is pointing to the uh, total sale that's fine let's uh, actually run this uh, and then we will go and change for multiple files let me go back to pipeline and execute our data flow or pipeline has been completed successfully let's go ahead and take a look here so we select the data from our table now you guys can see right there this is looking all good and uh, now we have id and the uh, sale person first name last name and this is the file it loaded now what we would like to do we would like to uh, load multiple files so in that case we are going to go back to data flow and here we are going to go where it says open uh, open that connection uh, let me go back so right there see uh, we have this uh, a data set and we are gonna click right in front of that on open and it is a uh, uh, was uh, set to the asia file so we are gonna delete that and uh, now we should be all good here it is reading from the input uh, container now one more thing i want to do here i'm gonna go back to my data flow and the source options and here in the container uh, input container what type of files I would like to read in this case I'm going to read all files which start with the total sale put asterisk dot CSV so what I'm trying to tell here anything that start with the total sale that's what I would like to read so a total sale underscore Asia total sale underscore Europe and all that and it should be CSV file so now it should be loading multiple files also what i can do in the destination i can go to the settings here and say truncate table and then before the loading so that's possible so we are all good here we go back to pipeline now and we are going to go ahead and run debug again this time it should load three files because we have put uh, remember that input and uh, then we have said total sale asterisk dot csv that means that we want to load all the files that will start with the total sale our data flow has been completed successfully so does the pipeline and now we can go back and take a look here i'm going to select the data from this total sale table and uh, now what we can see it has loaded uh, three files for us uh, total sale north america total sale uh, for asia and a uh, total sale for europe so this th these three uh, all the records are coming from uh, different files uh, now i can go back uh, one time and i show you so we what we did here in the source uh, first we made the connection and everything to single file and then later on we went uh, in the data set and uh, we removed that file name so we are not pointing to any specific file anymore and then uh, also when we, we did uh, we went to source options and here uh, in the wildcard path we provided uh, which type of files we would like to read so in this case i provided a total sale so let's say if you have uh, uh, your file does not start with total sales your file start with any different names or you can say asterisk.csv so it will read every file which is available in the input container and load them so and also what we did on the sync side we also implemented a truncate table so every time the file data will be loaded it will truncate the table first and then load the data so that's what we did now if you guys see i did the asterisk.csv and now let me see if i can go back and uh, let's say if i rename this uh, it's not gonna let me rename from here so uh, let me see right there so here total sale europe in that case i'm going to say test file okay so i just uh, give the test file name here i'm going to load this file so now it should load more files doesn't matter uh, whatever the name of the file so test file csv upload looks good and now we can go back and run our pipeline 
and this time it should load all those uh, four files it will truncate the table first and then load all the files it's not going to look for only for total sale uh, starting it's going to look for big as we said that asterisk so it means uh, anything uh, uh, file name can be anything but it should be csv file so we go back to pipeline and it's uh, in progress right now uh, our data flow as well as our pipeline has been completed let's go back and take a look here we can select the data from the table and now you can see that it loaded the test file as well because we did the asterisk dot to csv valve so that's how you will be able to control what type of files you want to load you want to load all the files or you want to load the file that start with some specific name and convention and all that i hope this video is helpful what i will do for you i will take the data of these files and put in the description so you can create your files uh, by yourself and test them out thank you very much and i will see you guys in the next video please subscribe my channel if you like uh, my effort